right, hello again, Jeff Scott of Blackhawk Technical College, welcoming you to Chapter 7 of the Retape for the 152-158 Advanced Website Development Class, our Joomla 3 Beginner's Guide book. So I'm on Chapter 7, I'm on page 179, welcoming your visitors, creating attractive home pages and overview pages. All right, and they're saying if the site doesn't look nice to begin with, why would people want to drill down into the content? That's where home page and overview pages come in. The home page lures your visitors in. It's a hook, so to speak. The overview pages are the second level pages to provide a quick overview of category contents. So people can, at a quick glance, know where they want to go and get to where they want to go. So in the chapter, as mentioned here, we'll customize the home page settings. We'll create a different kind of home page, create and tweak overview pages, and create different layouts for different types of overview pages. They're going to start by tweaking the home page. Up to now, as mentioned by the author, you've seen that the home page and category view pages use, it, use the default options. But there are many other ones we could use if we wanted to. The author shows a couple examples here and says in the following screenshots, you see the type of page we're talking about. The basic layout of both home pages and overview pages are similar all right, to what they show here. <coughs> and you know basically the kind of thing here all right on the left hand side is an example home page with the default stuff that's set up so you know there's notice there's one main article and three sub articles underneath it all right then on the right hand side there's the main article and there's just one article underneath it all right here's yet another so notice again one and three and here there's two, for example. Okay? As you can see, what's on the home page and the overview pages and how it's presented is vitally important to the site. So let's face it, especially if you, your site is some kind of an e-commerce site, you want to get people in and you want to keep them there more than anything else. And I, I don't think I'm saying anything out of turn. I don't think I'm saying anything that you really and truly don't already know. So creating the perfect home, mastering home page layout. By default, the home page is set up to display the following items. One, introductory article text over the full width of the body, three intro texts, and three columns. As we haven't changed any of the site, the example page has the same layout. So our example, our home page, all right, there's the one, and here's the three. And we see them like this, I guess, according to Mr. Wanda, at least, because we have those... Uh, the read more links. If we take those out, all right, that it would look this, the same type of way. We can even try that just to see. All right, so let's see. Oh, I think we're going to end up doing something similar to that in the chapter. I don't want to get too far off. The last lecture I was hoping was going to be a half an hour and it was 50 minutes. So, all right, let's do the time for action here. That's on page 183. All right, you decide to rearrange the items on the top home page. Let's say you want a maximum of two intro texts, both in one column. Apart from this, you want to show a few hyperlinks. So we want to navigate over here to menus, main menu. In the menu manager, click on home to enter the screen that you want to tweak with. All right, and here, I think we want the edit in the options tab, I believe it is. Maybe it's not. Menus, main menu, home. I think it's, I'm wrong, it's layout, I believe it is. There we go, that's it. So right now it says 1330. We are to change that to 0, 2, 1, and 4. These are magic numbers used to determine the page layout. There's one leading article. All right. Uh, oh. Before we changed them, there was one leading article, meaning it's displayed in the full width. Uh, intro articles are in three columns, and there are zero links to articles. What we changed it to then 
was now there'll be just two articles shown in a single column and the rest of the feature articles should be displayed as a series of hyperlinks. All right, so we are to save our changes, go back and view our site, and refresh. There's the two, and the rest are just hyperlinks. So that's looking pretty good as far as I can see right now. Okay? All right, what just happened on page 185? By default, the Joomla home link of the main menu is of the featured articles menu type. So that's what we just did. Joomla offers dozens of settings to customize home page layout, navigate to menus, main menu, home, and click the advanced options to see what's there. First, you probably want to set pagination to hide, where we'll ha hide the pagination links, the start, previous, next, and last, if we wanted to do that. For a full view of the options that are available, see the, f see the featured articles menu item type later in the chapter. So I'm going to wait until we get to there. All right. In the More Articles hyperlink at the bottom of your homepage, two hyperlinks are shown. That's because only four articles are set to display on the homepage. To add a couple of articles, navigate to Content, Content Manager, add any article by clicking on the white star, and the gray star changes to an orange star. So they want us to add, so right now we've got what? Uh, hideous Ugly, Hideous Still Lifes, and This Year's Meeting, and they want us to change and add the art of Bob Ross. All right, so I think if we go back into here and we go into run menu items now, I think if we go back to here and go to Content Article Manager, and articles, and we find the photography of Bob Ross. I think we might still be just set for news in here. I think we are. We want to set it to everything. So we want the categories to be all. Okay. So right now, So that's what we've got set right now, and I want to find not archived, I want it published. And we want to find the art of Bob Ross, all right, right there. We want to change the category on that so that it becomes featured. the art of Bob Ross. Okay. Adding items to home page takes just a few clicks. As we've already seen, we should be able to click on any of these and bring that particular article up. There's Hideous Still Lifes. There is the art of Bob Ross. And there's this year's meeting. Controlling the order of home pages manually. I'm up to page 187. Now that you've organized your home page layout, you'll probably want some control over the order of the home page items to manually set the order. All right, first edit the home menu link. So let's go back and do that. All right, so I believe we want to go to menus, menu manager. We want to want to go to main menu, and it's the home link. So inside of our home link, it tells us to click the advanced options, which is probably just options, but I'm not sure. To make sure category order is set to no order. Category order. Make sure that it's set to no order. Okay. First, set the value of the sort by, click save and close, sorry, click save and close, boom. And that should send us to the content featured articles. All right, first, set the value of the sort by article box to ordering, which means that we click right there, All right? says the intro text and links will now be displayed in the order which they are in the featured articles section. Okay. So for instance, if we wanted 
something to be changed now, we could do that. I think we want to go back to home here. But if we wanted to change, this is this is our menu. Let's go to content article manager, I believe. Categories. And again, we could move this stuff up here now if we wanted to, like club meetings. We wanted that to be first, for example. Click here. And see it's at the top. Look like it eats still lifes, which is not there, but whatever. So go back to here. Okay, we told Joomla to put the most recently on and we didn't do that. Let's do that right now, sorry. Time for action on page 188. All right, so let's do the stuff that's shown here. Show the most recent articles first. All right, so let's do that. Okay. It says navigate to menus, main menu. And click the home link to edit its settings. Under the advanced options tab, which I believe is the layout tab, you'll find the ordering option for featured articles. Make sure category order is set to no order, which it is, to avoid that. In the article order drop down list, choose most recent first. All right, as the date for ordering, Choose Create Date. Click on Save and view the site. Now, it may not look exactly the same as what's shown in the book, and that's fine. It's, it's the order that they were created and that date that's on there. All right? You've told Joomla to put the most recently added articles first on the home page. If you want, you can check this by opening a featured article, changing its date to today, and saving your changes. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Starting on 190, what the author does, as he often does in this book, is he goes through and he mentions all the different possibilities you have in the articles menu item type. Again, this is a little old and a little dated. You already saw that some of the stuff that I had to do was different than what's in the book. So this is, sh this is shown on 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, to the top of page 197. So I'm just going to lose my way past that stuff and go up to creating more than one page containing featured articles. All right, so I'm picking it up right there. All right, so we've got about, oh, I don't know, about, still got quite a bit to do in the chapter. By default, the featured articles item type is used only once for your site. All articles that have a feature status are shown only on the home page. However, you can have as many featured articles pages as you like. To do this, you would create a new menu link of the features art article menu type, and instead of all categories, create a new menu link of the featured articles menu type instead of all categories. Select only the news category. The output would be a separate featured article page showing just news headlights, headlight highlights. To avoid the same featured news showing up on both, you would probably want to change the home page settings. All right. We can also change this to make it just a single article, and that's what we do next, starting here on page 198. So that's what I'm going to do next. So they're mentioning here navigate over to I'm on page 198 navigate over to menus main menu 
as you can see there's a star in the home column of the home link right there this indicates that it is the default page in this example we'll select the mission statement as the new one find the article and click on its gray star so mission statement click on its star this should become grayed and then the other one should become orange and it is all right so if we go back to our site and we go back you notice that now the mission statement is on our home page if we want to update the main menu to reflect these page changes you can hide the existing home link in the menu all right etc but we have just changed the default page to give it a fresh look showing just one article the consequence of course of this approach is that the featured status no longer determines what's on the home page we probably don't want to do that so the author says probably what you'd want to do all right would be to go back to your site here and change this back so it's on home again so you see that it's now been taken off of mission statement put back on home and when we come back it looks more the way that it did previously all right all right that gets us to page 200 i've got it like i said step it up All right. Creating category overview pages. In the previous chapter, you've seen how to organize content with categories and subcategories, using those to group things, of course, with categories. But as it says, you'll also want to present contents in some form or another. So we're going to talk about blog layout versus list layout, starting on the bottom of page 200, right here. So I'm going to go through these steps next. And again, as mentioned, the author says here that we want to navigate, navigate to menus, main menu, add new menu item. In the menu item type, click on select, choose articles, and it says we have two main options here, category blog and category list. Select the appropriate layout. Select the category of the menu link it should point to and click to add it. That's what we do. It says there's a small catch in step three. How do you choose between a blog and a list? <clears throat> How do you create the type of an overview page that fits a specific category? All right, so the author says, well, let's look at a few, and hopefully that will help us understand which one we want to use and how indeed we want to do it. So it says for our purposes here, what we want to do is we want to create a new category so let's just close this all right so let's cancel and let's come in here and go under under rather content category manager add new category and we want this to be called who are Corba under the details select about Corba as the parent category I believe that's everything as far as I can tell so we created a new category called who are Corba and under the details we chose about Corba as the parent category and save and close navigate to content article manager and create three new articles in the Who Are Corba category. All right. Mrs. So Saraba, Dr. Fedrotsky, and Dr. Feinstein. And it looks like, taking a quick look here, because I'm going to go to the actual end page. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, it looks like we've got two paragraphs, about two paragraphs for each one. So I'm going to go back in the, in the lorem ipsum just make sure I don't screw it up so I'm going to set it down here to two and we'll have the exact same stuff for each one of these so it'll be those two paragraphs right there all right so we've gone through step one I'm now going into step two all right I'm in the article manager and I want to create three new articles so here's the first one 
as it says. These are going to be in the Who Are Corba. All right, and the first one, we've got Ms. Daping Saraba. All right, we've got our, whoops, I missed that. We'll have our two paragraphs. And it looks like we're going to want to, right at the beginning here, go to images and links, put our image in. That image will be of whoever that lady is. I don't see it in here because I've not added it yet, so I have to do that because I'm on a new paragraph or a new chapter, rather. be able to jump back into here. Refresh the screen. Oops. Let's select our intro. Oops. Where are we? I don't want to add any more info here, so let's cancel. Because I didn't put that in. I don't need that. That's fine. New article. Be valid title. All right. Let's put in those two paragraphs. This is Dr. De Ping Saraba. All right, I'm going to click here. Images and links. In fact, let's use the images that I have on. Let's find a picture of Dr. Saraba. Put it right there. There it is. Image title Dr. De Ping. Saraba. Insert. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to just screw up what I wanted to have. Let's do this. Let's stop this. Set the set that to the right. Okay. Insert. All right. So that's done. Then the next one we want to add. Save and new. So we also want to put that into Huar Corba. This will be Doctor T P H A E D R A T S K I. Copy that text again. All right, we're going to go back in here in just a second and add that. So the next one is the doctor, and he is the guy with the beard. And there's the description title, and it looks like all of these look like they're right loaded. All right, one more. I'm going to again put in one more here. This will be A. 
Einstein. articles with intro text, a read more link, and a main article text. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't do that. So I'll come back to here. Einstein, put in Dr. Podrotsky, and we were supposed to do the same thing, and then in that we were supposed to have a page break right there, which I didn't put in. I didn't want a page break, I wanted a read more link. So right there we have a read more link. Alright, now we're going to save and close. go back in and edit the thing because as of right now I think I've got the wrong description. It's fine the way it is. Alright, save and close. So those have all been done. <coughs> Step three, now let's add a can let's create a category page. Make a new menu link by navigating over to menus, main menu, add new menu item in the menu item type. Here we want to choose articles, category, blog. In the details section, we want to select the appropriate category. About Corva, who are Corva, enter a name for this, such as who are Corva. Click on the save and view the site. looks funky but that's because that read more link and the order of the of them doesn't look right either so but that's fine I do have one and then there should be two underneath here but again I guess that read more link screws stuff up all right the page looks okay but there's room for improvement change the blog layouts <coughs> as follows okay so get out of here get back in here change the blog layout they tell us to make it zero for leading articles three for intro articles three for columns and zero for links save and close go back into here go back to who are Corba and again notice how it gets smaller because of those darn read more links all right Let's try one last thing, the author says here, in step 9 on page 204. So, If 
finally he says let's go back and change it to zero to three zero 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 save and close let's look at it again And that pretty much, pretty much at least, looks the way that they show it in the book there. Again, we could go in here and remove all this stuff, and it would look a lot slicker, so to speak, but it's fine the way it is. All right. Now, the author mentions here, I'm turning back into the book, up or back up to page 206. So far, you've seen how you can show intro text and links to articles on a category page. However, you can also use category pages to show a list of full articles. In fact, this is probably why this layout is called category blog. A typical thing might look more like this. All right. To achieve this, you use a category blog like you've done before. Up to now, they contain a read more. All right. Navigate to the article manager, select the article to edit, select the red line and delete it which will tell it you don't want to read more all right so if we come in here sorry if we come in here and we go into our content article manager all right we go up to each one of these and i'm going to remove the read more link from each one so there it's highlighted now it's oops here and a p tag here Oops. save and close all right so there's the first one let's go we've done dr feinstein let's do dr fedrotsky same thing highlight this remove it toggle editor tags. That's what I thought we should do, just have one div tag. So there's the beginning P, there's the end of P. All right. Save and close. Go back to what I had before, Dr. Feinstein. Go back here in the toggle editor and just have one div tag. There's the div. Save and close. And we're going to do finally the last thing for his adopting Save and close. I think I've changed everything the way I want to. All right. So let's go back and look and see what I, what we have changed. So let's refresh. We shouldn't have to. But who are Corba? And there's everything on all three of our people that are in here. We're going to clean that up in just a second. All right. I'm on page 207 now, going back into the book. Just like the featured article, the category blog offers an array of settings. You set them through the menu's main menu. Most of the settings of the category blog menu type are identical to those of the featured articles. This holds for article options, integration options, link type page, and metadata. There's just one slightly different that's called blog layout options that's similar to the layout options. Okay. So they show here some of the main things that are different 
on page 208. I'm not going to run through those. Okay. Instead, I'm going to jump up and do the last exercise. It's on the bottom of 208, really on 209, and finishes up on 210. And then we're just about putting another chapter into bed. All right. So, jumping back to the site. We're told on page 209 to go to menus, main menu, add a new menu item. In the detail selection screen, it says select on the select. Click on category detail section. Category list. It says a pop-up screen should come up here, which is what we just had. In the Select a Category drop-down box, Select News. In the Menu Title field, add a descriptive menu link like News Articles Overview. Click on Save and Done. Save and Close link here, refresh, click on news, oh, we want news articles overview, I'm sorry, and here's what we have. For some reason it's only showing the one here and I don't know why because there should be more news articles than just the hideous owners. All right, but the rest of it is looking, oh, I think yes, they added stuff, Corba Magazine looking for authors new bad art book, watch the bad sculpture documentary, which I had not added. Okay? All right. Finally, they talk about how to customize lists on pages 211 and 212. And I'm not going to run through that. There's the options. There's the lists. So you can take a look at that as you get the time. What I'm going to do before I go into Chapter 8, which is the last chapter I'm doing for today, but before I go into that, I am going to go back and add these three articles, so at least hopefully my uh, news overview page will look similar to what they show in the book. So I'll be back to do that in just a couple.